This is section 8-4. It's on rectangles, rhombi, which is plural for rhombus, and squares. So these are special types of parallelograms. These are types of parallelograms. Remember, each of these was underneath the parallelogram on the family tree. So the four types of parallelograms, you could just be a parallelogram and not one of these shapes, or you could be a specific type of parallelogram like a rectangle or a rhombus or a square. What do each of these shapes look like by definition? I'm gonna try my best to draw these. Parallelograms look like this. They look like slanted rectangles. Now, just because it looks like this doesn't mean it's a parallelogram. To be a parallelogram, remember, we have four different ways to show you that something's a parallelogram. But by definition, you need these sides to be parallel. And you need these sides to be parallel. Your opposite sides need to be parallel. Now, again, just don't discount the stuff that we've talked about earlier about showing that something's a parallelogram. That's really, really important. This is the definition, but there's other ways to do it too. What does a rectangle look like by definition? Well, this is what it really looks like. Oh, dang it. Now, just because it looks like a rectangle doesn't mean that it is. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. So I'm just going to put the four right angle marks on here. Notice how I didn't put anything about the parallel sides. Now, why didn't I do that? Well, because we know that parallelograms have opposite angles congruent, and we have that. If these are both 90 and these are both 90, then it's a parallelogram. So it is a parallelogram with four right angles. That's what a rectangle is. Rhombuses or rhombi look like a square, only they're slanted. So that's what it looks like. But just because it looks like it doesn't mean that it is. You need these marks to prove that something's a rhombus by definition. So how do you know this is a parallelogram? The opposite sides are congruent. That's what makes it a parallelogram. So this is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. That's what a rhombus is. Squares look like, ugh, look like that, kind of. Just because it looks like a square doesn't mean that it is. Remember, a square is both a rectangle and a rhombus. So if it's a rectangle, it's got to have four right angles. If it's a rhombus, it's got to have four congruent sides. So a lot of times I call a square a rhombtangle. You can also think of a square as the offspring of the rectangle and the rhombus. It's definitely a parallelogram. The opposite angles are congruent. The opposite sides are congruent. So it's a parallelogram. It's a rectangle. It's a rhombus. It's underneath all three of these things.